So I've tested dozens of 3D printers over the years, but this one, it's different. The Bamboo Lab A1 Mini is the most beginner-friendly plug-and-play 3D printer I've ever used. And while the internet keeps complaining about its small size, they're completely missing the point. In this video, I'll show you why the A1 Mini might just be the best first 3D printer ever made. Let's go. Bamboo Lab's bold move. Bamboo Lab has been shaking up the 3D printing world with their premium grade X1 Carbon and P1 series. But the A1 Mini marks a bold shift in their strategy, offering an ultra user friendly machine at a much lower price point. It's a printer aimed at newcomers, casual users, and folks who simply want to print awesome things without fiddling with firmware or fine tuning profiles. But here's the kicker, while most people glance at the A1 Mini and scoff at its limited 80mm shoe build volume, they're missing the real story. This is one of the most thoughtfully designed, beginner-friendly, and fun-to-use printers on the market. And trust me, I've used a lot of them. Unboxing the A1 Mini, plug and play like never before. Open the box and you're greeted with a QR code. Scan it and you're watching a clean, well-made setup video on your phone. Unpack the bits, remove the foam, unclamp the Z-arm, and within minutes you're setting up the printer like you've done it a dozen times before. No confusing manuals, no hunting for screws, no watch 10 YouTube tutorials before you even plug it in. Nonsense. Even better, once it's powered up, the A1 Mini walks you through the rest of the setup with a friendly touchscreen UI that connects you to the Bamboo Handy app on your phone and calibrates everything from vibration frequencies to bed leveling. Automatically, it's like modern gaming, smooth onboarding, no grind, and you're immersed in the experience before you even realize it. The joy of instant gratification. Most beginner 3D printers give you one test file, maybe two. The A1 Mini comes loaded with a full SD card of fun, quirky prints, pan flutes, springy toys, flying saucers, puzzle cubes, even bouncy hedgehogs. In the magic, you don't even need a computer. Just pick a file, hit print, and watch it go. I realized a few prints in that I was actually having fun. Like real no pressure, I can't wait to try the next one fun. Before I'd even connected it to a slicer, I'd printed 10 puzzle models and was already invested in the printer. That's something most 3D printers don't give you in experience. Why the size doesn't matter. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. The 80mm SEP build volume. Yes, it's small, no, it's not ideal for cosplay helmets, architectural models, or massive vases. But guess what? Beginner users don't need those things. They want fun prints, useful gadgets, and fast, reliable results. That's what the A1 Mini delivers consistently. It's not for hardcore hobbyists who love tinkering with machines. It's for people who want results without the hassle. And in that respect, it knocks it out of the park. What the A1 Mini gets right. Let's break it down, because there's a lot that Bamboo Lab gets right with this machine. An effortless setup, from unboxing to your first print, the whole journey takes under 30 minutes. No tools, no tinkering, no frustration, to seamless app integration. The Bamboo Handy app connects smoothly with your printer, showing status updates, letting you monitor prints, and even creating beautiful time lapses, though there are some quirks, more on that later. Free fully calibrated out of the box. It automatically handles bed leveling, vibration tuning, and flow rate optimization. You just pr four hot swappable nozzle. Changing nozzles is a breeze. Just unclip and replace. No screws, no heated tools, no stress. This is a dream for anyone used to wrestling with tiny bolts and burnt fingers. Five active flow rate compensation. Similar to the pressure advance feature in the X1 Carbon, this ensures better corners, less stringing, and smoother extrusion. The result? Cleaner, more polished prints with minimal effort. The AMS Lite, multi-color printing on a budget. One of the A1 Mini's standout features, at least in the higher price combo, is the AMS Lite, Bamboo's budget version of their multi-color printing system. Here's what it does, it lets you print with multiple filaments, up to four, so you can create color gradients, dual material prints, or switch between colors automatically. For years, multi-material printing has been the holy grail of 3D printing, expensive, clunky, and inconsistent. Not anymore. The AMS Lite makes it easy. Click, load, print. Even my tech-averse wife managed to swap filament without any instructions. But, and this is key, it shouldn't be the focus of the product listing. 
Many people visit the A1 Minis page, see the $459 bundle with the AMS Lite, and instantly back away. It's a big jump from the $2099 base model. Bamboo needs to lead with the base printer, then upsell the AMS Lite as an add-on. That way the A1 Mini becomes a $300 must-buy and the AMS becomes a delightful upgrade later. Let's talk flaws, because yes it has some no machine is perfect, and the A1 Mini is no exception, but its flaws are minor, and most are software-based, which means they can and probably will be fixed. Here are a few hiccups I experienced. Camera bugs. Sometimes, the camera didn't connect via the app or failed to stream live video. Time-lapse glitches. Occasionally, I couldn't download time-lapses to my PC. AI detection, I assumed the AI camera would detect spaghetti prints and stop them automatically, but apparently that's not officially listed. Still, it'd be nice. Bed adhesion issues, very rarely, maybe three times total, the first layer printed slightly too high. Restarting the print, always solved it. Filament flings, the AMS light flings waste filament off to the side when changing colors, and there's no consistent method to catch it yet. PT FE tube length. The included tubes are slightly too short, causing some drag on the AMS unit when the printhead moves. None of these were deal breakers, and unlike many budget 3D printer brands, I trust Bamboo to fix them over time because they've proven their commitment to long-term support. Community, compatibility, and support. Like many closed ecosystem printers, the A1 Mini prefers Bamboo's own filament spools. That's fine. Bamboo's filament is great, but cardboard reels and off-brand spools don't always fit or may slip. Thankfully, the community is already working on printable adapters, and that ecosystem is only going to grow. You're also supported by a helpful, passionate community on Reddit, Discord, and Facebook. Questions get answered fast, and workarounds are shared freely. Who is this printer for? Newcomers to 3D printing, if you've never touched a printer before, this is hands down the easiest and most fun one to start with. Families and kids, it's a fantastic educational tool, safe, contained, and packed with playful models. Makers who just want to print, tired of tuning and troubleshooting, the A1 Mini just works. Busy professionals, want a desktop printer to quickly prototype something at work, the A1 Mini takes up barely any space and gets the job done. Who should probably skip it? Tinkerers and modders, if you love customizing, tweaking firmware, or building from kits, this printer may feel too plug and play. Large-scale builders, if your prints require big beds, the A1 Mini will feel cramped. Final verdict, a game-changer for beginners. The Bamboo Lab O1 Mini isn't trying to be the biggest, fastest, or most customizable 3D printer out there. What it is, though, is the most joyful, polished, and beginner-friendly printer on the market today. It's the iPhone of 3D printers, easy to use, beautiful to look at, and it just works. And while other printers offer more build volume for the price, they don't offer the same experience, and that matters, especially for new users. If we want more people to get into 3D printing, to truly fall in love with the hobby, we need printers like the A1 Mini. So if you're looking for your first 3D printer or helping someone pick one, stop worrying about the size. This is the one. So that's it for today. If you like this video, then please hit the like and subscribe button. For more videos, thanks for watching.